testing, testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. How do I start this video? <laughs> oh my days, lads. Um, Thrillville is a game that is so near and dear to my heart. I've made a whole video about it. But it's such an odd game to me because until recently, and when I mean recently, I mean like a week ago. I did not know that there were other people who played and enjoyed this game. I was always under the impression, hold on a second. I was always under the impression that me and my cousin were the only people who ever played this game because he was, him and I were the only people that I've ever known to ever talk about this game openly. And the reason why I got my copy of the game is because I realize some people are gonna think to themselves, bro, literally on the back of the cover, it says number sequel to the number one original family game of 2006. Look, man, I remember what those quizzes and little, little things on the teaser trailers. It's the number one movie in America right now. Who voted? Because I know I definitely didn't vote on this, did you? It, it, anybody could put that there, man. I didn't believe it. But I'm seeing now that there's like so many people who, well, I shouldn't say so many people, but enough people that I've seen nowadays that have played this game. And I'm just all like, I love that so much. Like, I'll get to how I feel about this game, but I just want to tell you how little cunt, I want to tell you how little content there was of Thrillville over the years that if you have been on the internet from 2010 to now 2023, 13 years, if you have ever looked up anything related to Thrillville on like YouTube or any other site, you've probably seen me at some point in your life. <laughs> Which is so weird to think about. I remember I was looking up metadata for this game so I could like get the title right and everything. And I was on YouTube and I was looking at, I was scouring other sites and I was like, that's me when I was eight. That's my channel when I was 12. Oh, okay, that was me when I was 14. I think, th I think the oddest place that I found myself like posting about Thr Thrillville was Tumblr. <laughs> Which, by the way, you will definitely find it if you use Tumblr. Yes, you will find my account and you will know it's me. It's not exactly a secret. Please, please don't bully me. I've been trying to use this site for like 12 years. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what's going on, but I'm trying to have fun and I am. Leave me alone. Actually, no, interact with me. I'm having fun. Have fun with me. But no, I'm not a native tumbler -er. Whatever they call themselves. Anyways. But yeah, man, I've been posting about Thrillville for years. Right. If you've if you've seen anything related to Thrillville from like 2010 to now. Hey man. Welcome back, buddy. I know it's been a while. I know I've changed. I've grown up. My voice has just absolutely dropped in. I'm glad to have you back here with me. <gasps> and you t and you t Oh my god, you have a baby! Ooh, I, god, god. I absolutely hated your little bitch. So for me, the thing that I love about Thrillville is how much it captures a period in time, not just a moment in pop culture history, but also a decade, and then also an era in gaming that just isn't here anymore. And I'll start with the era in gaming. So back in high school, I had this, I had this speech that I had to give, and it was on the prototype of the, of the original Nintendo slash PlayStation console. And at the end of my presentation, one of my mates, he asked me, what is your favorite game of all time? And I told him, and I, oh, excuse me, I told the class, Thrillville off the rails, excuse me, I told the class, Thrillville off the rails and I told them Thrillville off the rails was a theme park simulator and I've realized over the years how much I had undersold the game Thrillville not only yes, it is a theme park simulator like roller coaster tycoon 
but it's also sim simulation elements to it. It also has a manager based technical aspect to it. And it also doubles as a party game, a family party game. It's almost like four genres in gaming together. That is something that you just don't see nowadays. The thing that makes me love Thrillville so much is that it's such a unique game. There's nothing else like it. See, over the years, this game came out on the PS2. I've been trying to find PlayStation 3 games that, that give me the same feel as Thrillville, and I've lost every moment. And I've lost and I haven't found a game ever. I've tried to find PlayStation 3 games, Steam games, any games, anywhere. I've never found a game that gives me the same feeling as Thrillville because it combines so many genres that if you play The Sims, you only get an aspect of Thrillville. If you play uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon, you will only get a certain aspect of Thrillville. If you play any other manager type of thing, you only get a certain aspect of Thrillville because it puts all four of these genres into one package and it's just so beautiful. I said I wasn't gonna cry. I'm not going to. I've, I've, I'm all out of tears, okay? No Ariana Grande. The thing that, oh, I might cry you lot actually. The thing that I love about Thrillville is that it is, it is, it captures the era of time that I love, which is the 2000s. And it is a moment in history that was, Jesus, it was, it was 23 years ago. Oh my God. Um, if you were a teenager or a kid growing up in the 2000s, man, you know how magical that time is. And I know everybody says that their childhood was magical and yeah, I believe everybody's childhood should be magical. I'm just a 2000s kid talking about my childhood, which was in the 2000s. But this era in, in time, this was the era when Disney, specifically Disney Channel, was just an absolute juggernaut in everything. Like the stars that we grew up with, not only were they actors, they were also singers. They're in the TV shows we watched. I really can't even put into words how that era in time made me feel, except this. Go right now. Actually, don't leave this video, you little jerk face. You little jerk face. I'm trying not to curse. Do it after this video ends. But I want you to look up Disney stars send it on. Look up Disney stars send it on on YouTube. Watch that music video, listen to the sound. That is the feeling that growing up in the 2000s made me feel, man. In this game, I said this before in my previous video, that I can look back at old photos from myself when I was younger and feel nostalgic. Or, or people can tell me what it was like growing up in the 2000s. But when I put this game into my PlayStation 2, I don't have to imagine. The atmosphere is there. The clothes, the way, the weird way people talk, the music. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. I have a Thrillville playlist, you love. I have for years. So, I started using Spotify mainly in like 2019. And I've been making playlist after playlist trying to capture the sound and I didn't know what it was. It was this weird sort of, I knew it was the 2000s. I knew it was the 2000s, but I didn't know. It, it was like a combination of rock, pop, and a, a bunch of different things. And I only just realized like a few months ago that I was trying to recreate the Thrillville soundtrack. My top songs on Spotify are all Thrillville tracks, you lot. I literally had to make a playlist called like Thrillville Radio so I can have some sort of, the songs in this game just capture that time period so well. I mean like Avril Lavigne, uh, Miley Cyrus, Taylor Swift. These, these, these aren't people who are in the game, by the way. I'm just telling you. Well, some of them are. 
but I'm just telling you like how the atmosphere of how this game makes me feel. Uh, uh, Ali and AJ, oh my God! Oh, oh. Um, so right, I'm not on TikTok like that. I don't use, I don't have anything against the app. I just don't, it's not an app, it's not for me. I just don't like using it. And so I remember sometimes I'll like check in with, with songs that I like from Thrillville. And one of them is from the this duo group called Ali and AJ. I know them specifically. I remember first hearing them like one from Radio Disney, but also back in the day there was this there was this film, I believe from 2008. It was called The Minutemen. And this was the first time I heard of uh, AJ, Ali and AJ or is it AJ and Ali? I don't know. And they have a song in Thrillville and it's called breakup song or something like that. And I go to the YouTube comments on that music video and people are all like, oh my God, this is from TikTok. Th does anybody remember this from TikTok? And I was, just, I was sat there and saw like, that's so weird. I'm like, surely I'm, you know, I'm Gen Z. Surely other people would know this, these two from like either from Radio Disney or from or from the Minutemen movie, or potentially even from Thrillville, like I mainly know them from Thrillville. And I remember just sitting back and thinking to myself, man, that is so weird. Like, is it? I was like, I didn't realize how far removed the 2000s were from, uh, I don't wanna say like current day pop culture, but to hear people be all like, oh, I know this song from, from TikTok, I was like, damn. Damn, that really was a long, that really was a long time ago that people don't know these, them from like when they were, when this song, when these songs were new. This is retro now, I guess. And then also, I have to, I have to tell you about this, okay? So Thrillville, right? If you like Thrillville, I have to recommend a movie to you all. And it's a movie, it's a film called Turning Red. I'm not gonna tell you anything about it. I'm not gonna give you like a synopsis of what happens in the movie. Like, first of all, look at the duration of this video. This, that, that's your recommendation, okay? If you like Thrillville, if you like the early 2000s, if you grew up in like, if you grew up in the late 80s through like the, the early 2000s lad, trust me, and you like Thrillville, you're gonna love that film. You're gonna absolutely love that film. And a short aside, Okay, <laughs> I made another playlist a couple days ago after a character in Turning Red called Tyler. Listen, I'm not, I'm not gonna say any spoilers. All I'm gonna say is that I made a really funny joke in the description of that playlist <laughs> that I was really happy with, right? And as I started adding songs, I started adding songs like Justin Bieber, like Austin Mahone, like Big Time Rush, and all of them. And I realized <laughs> I'm literally Tyler. <laughs> Bro, I'll tell this short story, then we'll get back to Thrillville, okay? I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not actually. Let me not spoil the film. But I'll say this. Talking about how, talking about the early 2000s, right? Being a kid that, that felt like really insecure about liking certain music or certain aspects of, of things that went down in the 2000s, right? <laughs> there was one person who used to get like absolutely dunked on all the time and it was Justin Bieber. And there was one girl in my class back in, back in like elementary. Her name was Hannah. I still remember her to this day. She absolutely loved this man, Justin. And I remember, and I remember being in like first grade. She was in second. And I was continuing. I was like, Justin sucks. J Justin Bieber, nobody listens to Justin Bieber. Meanwhile, I'm at home, I'm closing my door. I'm just all like, let me show you what you're missing. Paradise. I'm like, ah! man, I, man, I was, I was a, I was a closeted Justin fan trying to, trying to tell Justin fans not to stand this man while I was standing in the horse. I'm, I'm like, 
But yeah, I miss I miss the early 2000s, bro. And that's that's what this game really just that's just what this game really captures, you know. And I've been wanting to make a video about this game for the longest time, but I never had any of the channels that I made never really had the 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 focus to do so. They never really had the concept to allow me to talk about this game in the way that I can right now. And even this channel beforehand, it didn't really until just recently. But unfortunately, my PlayStation 2 has had a lot of complications over the years. So I actually recorded a lot of Thrillville gameplay using my PSP, which also died coincidentally. So there's footage that I have of myself playing Thrillville for the video that will never come out because I'm never going to make it. But I got my PlayStation 2 to work one last time. And that brings us to the second part of this video, which is me 100%ing Thrillville for the very last time on my original PlayStation 2 that I first started playing with. This is the first, no, this is the second console that I owned but it's also the longest console that I've ever had. It's to the point that I do not even remember me getting this console. That is how long I've had it in my life for. Thrillville is my favorite game, and as a way to honor it and the way to send it off, my PlayStation 2, I decided to 100% Thrillville and put my PlayStation 2 to rest forever. So the first aspect of what I had to do was to complete all the missions in the parks, which honestly isn't too hard of a task to do. I've been playing this game for years. I think I've completed Thrillville up to that point at least two times. So I, I already knew the missions in and out. But then secondly, I had to get all the prizes in the game. In the main menu, you can hit prizes and see this little like rotisserie chicken board of all types of prizes and toys you can get in the game. The easiest way to do that is to go to Thrillville Stunts or the last park in the game, Thrillville Holidays, and do the little hammer mission just repeatedly. And you can not only max out the whole entire damn leaderboard, but also get all the prizes in a matter of like 20 minutes. And I will let past justice tell you the rest of his journey. But before I go, I just have to say I am this video in this the series of videos that I've put out I'm so proud of them it was it's been a tearful journey I've been listening to a lot of Jesse McCartney tracks specifically you can come to me oh my, oh! <laughs> I just what the hell was that anyways it was it was a really tearful journey and but I'm so proud of myself and I'm so happy that I got to say goodbye and I got to say goodbye to my PlayStation 2 in the way that I wanted. Playing my favorite game, doing my favorite activity, making videos. So anyways, I'll let you guys watch the rest of the video and I'll see you guys in a second. Well, hello there, lads. It is currently 9.25 on Wednesday, December 28th. Yes, I got that correct. And the dreaded day has finally come. It is time for us to finally finish Thrillville off the rails. It should only take me about two hours. So, we should be able to get this done tonight. Let's do it. As calm and collected as I tried to come across in that clip, I was an absolute mess before hitting the record button. I had my Thrillville playlist on repeat the whole day, which resulted in lots of eye sweating. But after getting into the game, it was business as usual. Everything was going smoothly, banging out mission after mission, and then something rather unexpected happens. I'm curious to see what the last entertainer mission is. Like what song will it be? Because the last time it was a Veronica song. 
Which that, oh my gosh, they're playing Miley, they're playing the Miley Cyrus tune right now. You're the type of guy, I guess. This was the song that made me fall in love with this game in the first place. Bro, the entertainer, this was the mission that made me fall in love with this game in the first place. I don't think the entertainer song for this, in this, in this park is actually particularly good. So if it's not good, if it's not a song that I like, I'll just leave and I'll go to another one because I really want the last one that I do to be something special. There's a place that I like to go and meet all the girls I want to get to know where we laugh and play and it never gets dark. I want to kiss all the girls in my amusement park. I say, notes at me this listen I'm usually, I'm usually good at those but they they never throw they never th who am I playing as right now they never usually throw stuff at me like this bro I gotta go to a different world I gotta go to a different to a different part that was definitely not my best work Never mind, I lied. <laughs> Bro, it's on hard. Of course it was difficult. I knew that. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna play the rest on my own and then I'll catch back with you guys if I have any, any updates or anything. See you in about two hours. Only 20 minutes into our run, and I'm still retaining the love I had for this game like the very first time I played it. However, the remaining few hours would not be as joyful. See, my PS2 has trouble with reading discs. Sometimes it runs smoothly, and other times it doesn't register the game at all. So it just stops playing. The problem has only gotten worse over the years and it creeped up during our final session with an absolute vengeance. Mid-mission the game would freeze, which was not much of an issue as I could quickly recover, but it made the run turn into a race against time. As I save fairly frequently, I was scared of the game stopping mid-save corrupting my file. Thankfully, this didn't happen. But that never eased the pain in my heart of feeling like my heart was going to drop at a moment's notice. This was especially scary when doing missions that I was aware were more challenging than others. A freeze could break my concentration, or even if I did complete it, who's to say my game wouldn't crash before saving my progress? This final park was quite literally the most nerve-wracking experience I've had in a while. Oh my god, I did that first try. My heart is absolutely beating. We are good on time. I just have to get this save off. Please, please, please. It, we have been recording for one hour and 50 minutes. Please, 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 please. We have two missions, two missions, three, excuse Okay, okay. We have three missions that we have to do, and they are all pushovers. We have the, the trader mission, and then we have this food mission, and then the last mission that I'm worried about is this mission, which is uncommon value 
which we are 10k off from achieving. The issue with this type of mission in this game specifically is that these types of missions are are pretty much you don't you just have to sit around and wait for this like essentially just put a bunch of things in the park and just hope that the game awards you the the trophy and just sit around and wait for the game to just randomly give you the 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 gold medal essentially it's just rng based that's what i'm trying to say We've, we've done pretty good. I said it takes two hours to beat, but it usually takes me like an hour and some change to beat these, to beat these parks. So this is actually the fastest time I've ever, I've ever completed a park in. It's probably still gonna be over two hours, but it's usually like two hours 30 and I'll probably get this done in like two hour 10, two hour 15, who knows. Depending on how this last uh, RNG based mission goes that that's uh, I Have a headache you lot. I have a headache. I've been crying. I've been I've been scared that I wasn't gonna finish this game and Fingers crossed Let's see how it goes Yeah, well it ended up being over three hours <laughs> Oh God I spent most of my time trying to fulfill the RNG mission, getting rid of all the cheap and low thrill rides and replacing them with expensive and more fun attractions, but still came up short. This mission I've never been able to complete in all my years of playing this game, so I was not even surprised, but I would have still loved to have gotten all grow trophies in all the missions instead of just missing one. The final cook mission, however, was doing my head in. Despite thinking I was optimizing this run for a quick finish, I was practically doing the same missions in the same order as I've been doing every time I've tried to complete this game, including doing this brutal cooking mission at the end. I can't explain what's happening in these clips. Uh, well, no, I can, but I just can't be asked. So I'll just explain my mood. I'm emotionally and physically stressed, scared my progress will be nullified at a moment's notice, and trying to concentrate on an arbitrary puzzle game while fighting off a headache. In the end, I had to switch off my brain and turn on a podcast to stop myself from committing Sudoku. The uh, mongoose, which I'm sorry, is so funny. You know? <laughs> hours and 38 minutes into it <laughs> um I actually this is taking longer than usual um and it also sucks because we still have the RNG thing to 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 work on but two missions left and it is time to say goodbye Bro, I already said it's gonna take three hours. Okay, well, get back to the video! Alright, so I've been here for about... three hours and 30 minutes. <laughs> Way over time to try and get this done. But I don't know if I said in the video, but the thing that I was trying to do was get max 
all gold stars, all gold trophies on all of the parks. But this this last mission is really doing me in, lads. And I'll be honest, I don't think I've ever done it. I'm pretty sure I, I tried this beforehand. The, the, the goal is to get 35k, but I've only ever gotten to 31. And now it's been stuck at around 27 to 29. And I just simply can't be asked. Who cares at the end of the day, it's just one silver trophy. I won't get the ultimate gold one, but yeah, see now it's down to 27 now again. But I'd be lying if I said I actually cared. Let's put this game to rest. Let's finally do a send off to this game of Thrillville. How are you, Tim? Call me Vernon Garrison Jr. No, wait, call me the Destroyer of Thrillville. Yeah, the Destroyer of Thrillville sounds a lot better. Man, it's... It's so, it's kinda crazy. For as long as I've been playing this game, I... Still don't know what to say. I simply don't have the words. The time I spent with this game, my PlayStation 2, I will never forget. For as long as I live, the bond I share with Thrillville can never be replicated with any other piece of media. I mean, it's like the song goes. With this game in my possession, it really did feel like all my dreams came true. Thank you LucasArts and Frontier. It's been a wonderful ride. You can't you can't see her, but Jiggles is right there, like at my feet. She's been with me this whole time while I was while I was finishing it. What? What? Does that usually happen or? I'm not too sure, I think. Well done! You built five incredible theme parks, defeated Global Joy, and managed to escape being crushed by the world's biggest cotton candy. Thanks to you, Thrillville will continue to thrive. Why, I even already have some plans for the next theme park. Well, maybe now's not the time. Let's get down to the business of getting down. Thrillville style. Bandito, do you have anything to add? Chinchilla just sounds better. What? That joke's gonna fly over so many people's head, I'm, I'm not even about to explain it. Listen, I waited so many years to understand what, I, oh man, man. I remember the first time I heard that dude. Never forget. Matt, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of crazy when I think about it. All these years, man, that song replays all the time. It wasn't a perfect day, man. It's been a wonderful, wonderful 15 years. <laughs> Everybody who worked on this game. I don't know you, you will never know I exist, but I love each and every single one of you, including you who's watching this video, man. It's been justice. Peace.
Come on. There's no way you thought I was going to end a video with There's a place that I like to go Meet all the girls I want to get to know And laugh and play when it never gets dark I want to kiss all the girls at my amusement park Boys I got my ticket All the girls want to ride Girl, I meet you there It's a perfect day in my amusement park. Perfect day, your dreams come true. And 